I random videos are where I talk about anything besides dinosaurs and dragons. And for this one, I wanted to show you two little treasures from another interest of mine. I'm sure everyone who loves animals started with a trigger, something that sparked your interest in the animal world. For some, it might be a visit to the zoo. For others, the aquarium. And yet others, a museum. For me, it was insects. Indeed, when I was young, the very first thing I thought I'd become when I grew up was an entomologist. I was just fascinated with insects and would often get to all sorts of no good during lunch hour, bringing back to the class ants, centipedes, and all manner of arthropods to the distress of everyone in class, especially the girls. One of my greatest fascinations was with the praying mantis. It was totally badass how it would flick its lightning-fast front legs armed with spines to catch any unfortunate animal small enough to be devoured. It was also fascinating the alien way they'd swivel their heads 180 degrees side to side. Now being very rare, it was always a treasure to capture and keep one. I also often caught ants, and since I would never be allowed to bring them home, I'd hide them away in the classroom and come back on Monday to check on them. Unfortunately, one time I stashed the ants in the classroom library and they escaped over the weekend, crawling all over the books and the class. It also happened to be over the weekend that I actually captured a mantis. Now my dad heard what happened on Monday and punished me by making me free my mantis. And that was painful indeed. And nowadays, except for my cat, I don't have animals in captivity. But I'm still fascinated with mantids, especially those that present with aggressive mimicry. Now this is mimicry, of which main purpose is to hide from prey items until it's too late. And I want to show you two examples of that from the Takaratomi Primary Color Mimetics Insects line, both of which are roughly one-to-one -one scale. The first is the pink orchid mantis, Hymenopus coronatus. It is actually just one of various flower mantids, and look at how remarkable the resemblance to an orchid is. The expanded legs resemble the petals of an orchid. While the upturned abdomen resembles the sepal. And even the eyes are pink and shaped like little petal buds. When awaiting prey, it even sways the same way an orchid would sway in the breeze, lulling any unfortunate pollinator closer and closer until it's too late. The coloration is a pink and white, and you can see the very nice fades in this little model. It's about 6.3 centimeters or 2.5 inches long. If the regular praying mantis was hard to get, this is rarer still, found in rainforests such as in Malaysia, Thailand, the Philippines and Indonesia, I've never had one, so I'm pleased to have this. The second is Deroplates lobata, the Southeast Asian dead leaf mantis. It's bigger than the orchid mantis, about 7 cm or 2.8 inches. Instead of a flower, this mantis mimics a dead rotting leaf. And as such, while it's also found in the rainforests of countries like Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, and Borneo, it lives on the ground on the forest carpet. It's a similar type of mimicry to that seen in leaf insects, though used for evil. And even the legs have these little growths and looks like pieces of dead leaf. You can see the detail again at this small size, and the coloration is also very realistic to the real thing.
These eyes are really nice. Being a sort of translucent ember, you just feel a kind of liveliness to the little creature. Now both of them come with this little plastic stand, which is fitted to the respective thoraces of each mantis. They also come with these pairs of antennae, which I have yet to glue to the head until I find a more permanent place for them. So, very nice little things if you like insects, and particularly mantis, and especially impressive mimics. I'm actually curious if any of you ever got into insects, considering they are pretty far from dinosaurs, and of course even further from dragons. If so, please share your experiences in the comments below. I'll see you soon with, you guessed it, the next video.